Hey guys, it's Katie here from Kids After School. Alright, now I haven't seen you guys in so long and I've been really itching to do some experiments. So, I thought of an idea. Um, I know a lot of you guys love to make paper planes and you guys quite often come up to me and you're like, Katie, please help me make a paper plane. But I only know how to make one or two kinds of paper planes and they are not good. So, I decided I'd do a little bit of research. I'd find out a couple more um, styles. I've got six more styles, so eight paint paper planes in total. And I'm gonna see how far they fly today. All right, so here's my go-to plane that I make whenever a kid asks me to make one. Here is the original, which is the very first plane that uh, you, you learn to make. Here is, and now for my researched ones, here's the bullnose, here's the bullet, here's the dart, the stealth, the bumble, and the hunter. Now which one do you think is going to go the furthest? Alright, let's get started with the experiment. We're going to start off with my go-to. Only can go up from there, right? Landed right beside me. Next is the original. We went slightly further with that one. Alright, we're up with the stealth. Not bad, that's number one so far. Okay, here we go with the hunter. The stealth is still winning. All right. Oh, here comes the trusty dart. Oh, it's hard to beat that stealth. All right, here comes the bullnose. Not bad, bullnose is now in the lead. Okay, here comes the bullet. Alright, so ball nose is still in the lead, and here we go with lucky last, the bumble. Here we go. And there we have it. Alright guys, the results are in, and the runner-up for our trusty plane experiment today is the unique design of the bumble. Alright, not bad, came runner-up, did the job. And our lucky winner, the the plane that was the furthest is our trusty bullnose, which again is another bit of a different kind of design. But there you have it, that is the winner. I will put some instructions on how to make it for you guys. But um, I know you guys have heaps of different designs as well. So if you can, maybe get mum or dad to chuck a picture up of your guys' planes in the comments. And yeah, I want to see your planes when we go back to CAS. So, Keep practicing and that's it from me. I'll see you guys later. So today I'm going to teach you guys how to make the bull nose. First you get your piece of paper and you want to fold it over this way. But there's a little trick to it because if you see down here you want it to be more pointy so you may need to move it a little bit up but the corners over here and it doesn't matter if it's not perfect but you're basically doing that all right then you want to unfold it and you're going to do the same to the other side all right so you're going to find that point doesn't need to be perfect but you want to get it kind of roughly in the right space all right, and then you unfold it again, all right, and you're left with two lines that cross each other. So what you want to do is you want to come from this side here, and where that first line, so where you first went over, the line that's made by this crease here, that's where you want to meet your paper, all right? So you want it to run along the side all right so that's where the line is and the paper's right over there like that and we're going to do the same on the other side we're just going to find that line which is there and we 
are going to fold it. Now as you can see up here, they've actually, the two paper, two bits of paper over the two corners have crossed over, which is what we want. We're then going to take this side again, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take it back into that middle. All right, it's a bit tricky because of your first folds that you did kind of move a little bit. All right. Then you're going to do the exact same with the other side. All right. So that's what it looks like now. All right, almost like a Darth Vader kind of look. Now, as you can see here, this point right here, that is where the two pieces of paper meet in the middle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this little bit of paper at the top and we're gonna fold it so that this part here goes across where our two paper, bits of paper cross over here. So just fold it over like that. Make sure it's nice and pressed down. All right, and then you've got it like that. So now it's, time for the next part we're gonna next step is we're gonna flip it over all right and we're going to fold it in half now this is where it starts to look a little bit more like a plane so we're gonna take it in the middle and we're just going to fold it in half like so all right we want to make it nice and even if we can there we go All right, and now we're up to the last steps, which are the wings. So we're gonna take this corner and we're going to make it, I'm just gonna press it down like that. So it's got a bit of a small kind of um, bit to hold. So that's all right. So as you can see, it's on a little bit, a little bit of a, of a lean towards here. So we've got a nice thicker bit down here then at the top. Um, that's just because this top's point, this uh, end is pointed. So we'll flip it over and we're going to match the other side. Alright, so we're just going to make it look the same. Make sure it's all nice and folded down. And there you have it. Spread the wings out. There is your bull nose which uh yeah speedy plane that's how we do it